Hi, Liz Shaw here with Blue Farmhouse Music. Today I want to give you some tips on how to play the fiddle by ear. Now maybe you already read music and you can get fiddle tunes out of fiddle tune books and that's a great way to learn them. But one day you're going to end up at that jam session and they're going to play a tune you don't know and you really like it and you want to be able to jump in. You need to play by ear. You need to learn how to do that if you're going to be a fiddle player. I've got some tricks that make it a little easier to get started with that. So the first thing I want to tell you is don't start with fiddle tunes. Start with the tunes that are already in your ears. I'm thinking those childhood memory type tunes. You know, the ones you sang on the playground, the ones you sang to your children, the ones you sing at every birthday party. Happy birthday to you. So go there first and pick tunes from that pile of music, not fiddle tune books. Um, the next tip I'd like to give you is to pick a scale and set those tunes within that scale so your fingers will have a fighting chance of hitting the right note. The scale I'd like to start with is always the D scale and that's done with the two middle strings. We've got open D, and then our first finger is E, our second finger is F sharp, our next finger is G, open A, there's a parade going down my country road evidently at this moment, there's a B, there's a C sharp, and now a D. I'm not worrying about the letter names, what I want you to think about are your syllable names. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Think about that. Get that scale in your head that way. And <clears throat> practice that up and down. Did you notice how my finger patterns are the same on the D string and the A string? Put a one down, make a space, the next finger is close together. So that's the same pattern on both strings. That's the D scale. Now let's think of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Where does it start? That's the tricky part. You have to find the starting note. And if you start figuring out the song and you keep finding that one of the notes in the scale doesn't fit where you need it to, you didn't pick the right starting note. Fortunately, most tunes end on the name of the key but they don't necessarily start on the name of the key. In fact, most of them don't start on the name of the key. This one starts on me. Mary starts on me. Me, Ray, Do, Ray, Me, 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 Ray, 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 Me, So, So, Me, Ray, Do, Ray, Me, 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 Ray, Ray, Me, Ray, Do. It's just four notes there. Do, Ray, Me, and Soul. Okay, so yeah, that's easy. You can, you, I'm sure you're not gonna have any trouble picking that one out, but you need to do it over and over just to train the ears. Let's, let's pick another one. Um, row, row, row your boat. Now it does start on its do. Do, 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 re, mi, mi, re, mi, fa, sol. Then it goes up to its high do. Do, 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 la, uh, sol, 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 mi, 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 do, do, do. So fa mi re do. Now, if you put down the wrong finger, maybe you went one step too high, or you went one step too low, or maybe it's a big jump like when we jumped up to here. You might not have known to have jumped up that high. If you went, then you would have known I didn't go high enough. You needed to go. jump all the way up to the do and some of them are skips so you have to kind of experiment and you will make mistakes just jump around till you find the one you need let's do one last one Christmas carols are great ones to learn and one in particular is joy to the world it's just a D scale up and down up and down start with your high D I just did a D scale. Start on soul. I just went back up the scale. Now I'm going to go down the scale again. I repeat that. See, and then here's some repeaters. Let's see. Repeating the 
notes can some, sometimes be tricky. You think, I need to change notes. No, maybe you just need to stay on the same note for another few uh, beats. So just jump around, but know that if you've got this D scale under your fingers, your chances of hitting the right note are much more likely to happen than if you don't know what key you're in and you haven't set out the scales. Okay, so that's my tips here. Start with tunes you know, pick a key, and then go from there and know that you use repeating notes, you use notes that are next door, you use little skips, you use big skips, and those can go up or down. Experiment, use trial and error. One last thing that you can do if you do read music and you know what key signatures are, you can pick up maybe an old piano book, maybe you took piano lessons as a kid, and maybe you'll see, oh, I don't know, uh, uh, this old man. This old man, he played one. And you see it's in the key of A. Well then, learn the A scale on your violin. Uh, then pick out the first note that's written in the book. And then shut the book. Don't use the book past getting the first note. And then go to town on it. All right, I hope this was helpful. Get confident using your ears. It's going to make your fiddle playing so much more enjoyable, and it's going to make you so much more versatile. Until next time, this is Liz Shaw with Blue Farmhouse Music.